um, on a train, and I get smacked in the face by a sign. <laughs> and we did that again and again. A stunt is uh, something you have to do again and again. Eventually, you land on the same elbow again and again, and eventually, you just want to go home. I love this movie so much. It made me feel like I was a kid again. This is a great Indiana Jones adventure. I loved it top to bottom. Uh, Mads, first question for you. Can you talk to me about your character and how you wanted him to stand out amongst other Indiana Jones villains? I can't really do that much. It's in the stories, in the script, so we lean towards that, of course. I mean, this guy, um, he's a scientist, he's a, he's a mathematician, and, and he's, uh, that's his entire life, unfortunately. Uh, he's also a member of a party. Uh, so, but if it was only the science, um, that would be a, a, a nice day. But if you can combine the two of them, it's a great day. Absolutely. Now, Seanette and Boyd, can you guys talk about uh, your guys' characters and, his, and their connection to Mads' character? Well, I think mine's probably pretty more evi uh, obvious. Um, you know, I'm uh, basically uh, Mess's lapdog who will do anything without, if, if there's a moral compass, I am the opposite of that. In the <laughs> film. Uh, and I think a uh, devotee to, to Mrs. Character. And I mean, I, I am a representative of the U.S. government, I guess, mm. you know, uh, Waller or Schmidt is, is working on, on um, <clears throat> has worked with our um, government of uh, getting um, Americans to the moon, and he's a scientist, he's a mathematician, and this seems to be a bit of an offshoot of, of what we were initially engaged with, and I don't really like to work with them. I don't really uh, appreciate um, the kind, kind of things I think they represent, and I'm pretty much just following orders, but it, it kind of gets out of hand. Yeah, yeah, it definitely gets out of hand. <laughs> um, now, Seanette, for you, what does it mean for you to be a part of the Indiana Jones legacy? And can you talk about the experience? Yeah, um, it, it, it means a great deal. You really don't see characters that look like me represented in the franchise. And I think it was a great way to be um, seen in, in this part in, and to, to have to, to be able to engage with nearly all of the superstars in this movie, you know. I'm, I'm yelling and interrogating Harrison Ford, essentially. I'm working with Boyd, I'm working with Mads, and it's it's a beautiful um, expression of good artistry and, and great acting, and I, I think I was just able to just just be a succubus in, in, in those, in those, um, those days on set. You guys all get to work with Harrison Ford on such an iconic property. What did you guys learn about Harrison while working on this film? How uh, passionate he is. Um, you know, I, there was no scene that he would move on from unless that he knew that that was that was it, and we we got what we needed. Um, yeah, I was most impressed, and the energy level this guy has to to go on a, a sort of marathon like this is that I don't. <laughs> You need to be prepared for that. His inner child is firing yeah. at all <laughs> times. Like it's just 16. so playful, you know, riding his riding his bike to set from from the trailers. You know, it's just like it's 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 just like that energy. Yeah. Like you want to have that kind of longevity Absolutely. as a person, as as an as, as an actor. The stunts in this are phenomenal. There's that tuck tuck scene which brought me right back to childhood, and it looks like it, that would be a fun ride at Disneyland. But Mads, for you, uh, what was the most difficult stunt? Uh, that you guys had to do in Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny? Stunt-wise, um, not too many for me. I, there's one in the beginning where I'm on a train and I get smacked in the face by a sign. <laughs> and we did that again and again. A stunt is uh, something you have to do again and again. Eventually, you land on the same elbow again and again. And eventually, you just want to go home. Right, right. Uh, so, so that was the one for me. I was, yeah. This is the first time that somebody else has directed an Indiana Jones movie, and James Mangold knocks it out of the park. Can you guys talk about working with him as a collaborator and what his directing style added to the Indiana Jones franchise? He's just so... Um incredibly uh, intentional about the relationships and interpersonal relationships of these characters. You look at a, uh, a movie like this, it's such a large scale in scope and the sequences, the action sequences and everything, but he's able to fine tune it to beat by beat moments and to really um, investigate what's on the page and, and investigate um, the, the dialogue. So I think that was just remarkable to be able to get a greater sense of the character even in the moment as we were shooting. It's incredible. Well, look, Thank you guys so much for your time. I cannot wait to watch this in theaters again. I'm probably going to watch it like five times, but amazing job. It made me feel like a kid again, and that's what I want in a theater experience. So thank amazing. you. I appreciate you guys' time. Thank you. Thank you.